Hello my lovelies. Libra, this is going to be your week ahead reading. We're going to do the Celtic cross this week for your spread. So let's see, what is your situation? Love, some sort of, um, they're telling me the mushy gushy. Are you running from your feelings? That's the first thing that comes to mind. Are you open to new possibilities of love? Because I do feel like somebody has feelings and I feel like this person wants to come in and express those and give you the mushy gushy stuff. Okay, so that's your primary situation this week is love. And maybe it's not on the forefront. Maybe it's on the back burner. Maybe you don't want those feelings to come to the surface, but I feel like they're going to anyway. Your challenge this week. Yep. <laughs> Your challenge has to do with making a decision about love, romance, a partnership, love, maybe new possibilities coming in. I feel like this person wants you to choose them. Like they definitely have feelings for you and maybe they were running away from those feelings. Maybe it's you that's hiding those emotions, but I feel like that's coming to the surface and there will be some sort of deciding factor that needs to be addressed this week. Your focus. Okay, there's an unexpected love offer coming. Um, I feel like it kind of comes out of the blue and shocks you in some way, shape, or form. But again, there is this decision that has to be made. Are you making a love offer to somebody that you really have feelings for or is one coming in for you that you don't see? I don't know what we're going to find out. All right. In your recent past, there have been a lot of changes that have taken place. Some might have been quite shocking and dramatic for you, but the change was necessary to get you to this next chapter. So there could be a lot of sudden shocking changes that happen. Remember, a tower, while it's destructive in nature, is actually meant to help you dismantle the things in your life that are not working for you so that you can rebuild something much better out of the rubble. So we want to dismantle negative things in our life so we can go towards positive changes. The possibilities for you. Are you manifesting something new or someone new? That could also be a possibility. Remember that we create our destiny. So our thoughts become things. Stay positive until you see these things happen. Put it out there into the universe and allow the energy to come back in when the time is right. All right. In your near future, there could be some divine intervention allowing these things to change for the better, to restore the balance. This is also an indication that spirit wants these changes to happen for your highest good, that they are wanting you to dip your toe in the water, to alchemize, to find the balance, to trust spirit energy, that it's guiding you where you need to be. And so part of that is aligning our thoughts and our energy so that we're able to actually transform and transmute the negative, the lead and heavy things into light and gold. So they're wanting you to transmute that energy in order to see things differently to go on a new path all right so your power that you hold power of communication being able to take action finding your courage in order to speak up I feel like that's something that you're working on if it's not already there but being able to actually uh, take action where maybe others are incapable or fearful to do so you're not you're gonna take that action the environment and outside influences you might be being pulled in a lot of different directions, so you could really need some downtime, some time to rest, recharge, recover. Allow yourself to do that. That's really important. Why? Well, because burnout is very real, and once you've reached that point, it's very difficult to recover from. So take some time to yourself. Your hopes this week. Hmm, hopes that there's lots of possibilities. Are you out there playing the field there, Libra? I feel like this is telling you you need to be cautious with your choices. While yes, there might be lots of opportunities, not everything is as it appears. You could be being catfished. There could be some snakes in your midst. Not all of the things in your life that glitter are gold. So be aware that you need to make some wise decisions when it comes to love. It does look like you have a few options potentially. So choose which one is best for you. Something that's going to be healthy, not something that isn't. And your outcome. It's going to take teamwork to make the dream work. You need to collaborate well with others. 
There could be some sort of um, business project, group project. Um, maybe you're trying to collaborate with a love interest. But I do feel like you guys need to be on the same page for things to actually grow. And I feel like there's some things that also need to change in order to get to the growth. Um, I don't see a lot of pentacles in here. So where is the balance? You have one card one card out of your whole reading that is financial, um, one card that is about balance. So I feel like the main focus this week is going to be primarily on love, changing things that don't work, and offering or ushering in the balance to alchemize things for the better. My left ear is ringing really loud for confirmation. I feel like you need to let go of multiple options and choose one. Like, you don't need to be out there, um, you know, dipping your ink dipping your pen in all the ink everywhere, right? You need to make sure that you are actually making wise decisions because I feel like Spirit's about to hand deliver you what you've been looking for if you're willing to let these other options go. So allow the change to come in, express your feelings. Definitely don't um, stuff those down this week. I feel like Spirit's trying to open your heart chakra and they're trying to assist you in expressing your feelings. Maybe in a creative way, maybe instead of being so logical, you let your heart lead this week and Spirit's going to show you who and where it needs to go. Have a great week.